But in this YouTube thing, I don't know, it may look easy, but... Hi guys, welcome back to another video on Brianna Effect. So tonight, we're gonna do a blanket series. And we're gonna tell some spooky stories in the dark. So we'll count to 20, go and get your blankets. One, 20, right. <laughs> The first story is called The Accident. It was 1 a.m. and Ben sat on his dark living room. He hadn't moved for over an hour. The accident earlier that evening kept playing over and over in his mind. The light turned red, but he was in a hurry and he accelerated. An orange blue came from his right and in a split second, there was a violent jolt. Then the bicyclist rolled across his hood and fell out of sight onto the pavement. Horns blared angrily and he panicked, stepping on the gas, screeching away from the chaos into the darkness, shaken, keeping an eye on the rearview mirror until he got home. Why did you run, you idiot? He'd never committed a crime before and punished himself, himself by imagining years in jail, his career gone, his family gone, his future gone. Why not just go to the police right now? You can afford a lawyer. Then someone tapped in the front door and his world suddenly crumbled away beneath him. They found me. There was nothing he could do but answer it. Running would only make matters worse. His body trembled. He got up and he went to the door and he opened it. A police officer stood under the porch light. So, asked the grim officer. Um, he let out a defeated sigh. <sighs> yes, um, I'm terribly sorry, but... I'm afraid I have some bad news. Your son's bike was struck by a hit and run driver this evening. He died at the scene. I'm very sorry for your loss. <laughs> See why being nasty, no pay? Robert, even if you're tired and you're hurrying home, take your bloody time. You, you break the red this. light. And he did the right thing. The boy going over when the red light was on and you get killed. He didn't come out to check to see if the boy could sell. No, but he died on the scene and he would not be good. No, but still you don't know your son after you hit And you that dead right there too. No, but first you shake and you reach him and him look for your son and then you just sit down panic. Hmm. Wow, I will go back on the road, start the car, <laughs> put something to hold on the, the, the gas and run in front of it and bounce my mm. damn self. He deserves to go to jail, I'm not telling him. Well, well, you could say now no, you can't, can't go on so long in jail, yeah, you best hit what you're you doing in the talk. land that they live in still. It, you, you know you're going mad, you know what, he could mm -hmm. never see anything else again and the thing mm -hmm. is, as you say, he didn't even come out to see, so he doesn't have a, any closure. No closure. You never said goodbye to your son. You mean kiss him. Sorry, boy. Nah, me want no sorry, boy. Nah, he does see the jackass that bounce him. <laughs> I don't want no. I don't know that story. Yeah, no. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I wonder if the son saw me too. I was riding to tell me, Daddy, give me a job. But because hey, I didn't stop. The sun may be in make out the car because in the night, you know, you're just seeing lights in your eye. You ain't seeing number plate, nothing. But hmm. we, nah, wow. great story though. Great story. Wow. Okay. So, I'm trying to see which one is actually nice. Wow. They didn't mention her mother though, so if he had a wife to tell what went on, like if she was away on business or upstairs sleeping and yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so the next story is, so I lost my phone. 
Last night, a friend rushed me out of the house to catch the opening act at a local bar, bar's music night. After a few drinks, I realized my phone wasn't in my pocket. I checked the table where we were sitting at. I checked the bar, the bathrooms, and after no luck, I used my friend's phone to call mine. After two rings, someone answered, gave out a low, raspy giggle, and then hung up. They didn't need my answer again. I eventually gave up as I saw it as a lost cause, and I headed home. I found my phone lying on my nightstand right where I left it. Who the hell was in the house? Why the hell did answer the phone? <laughs> we wow. Hmm. That one, I don't know what I'll do. I'll just call my friend and say, hey, come and pick me up now. Eh? <laughs> I can't sleep here tonight. Hmm. Hi. All hmm. right. And for the final story, nap in the car. Mommy always leaves me and daddy home on Saturday nights and me and daddy always go and get ice cream in the car after dinner. I have to sit in the back seat until I'm a big boy. I go in the kitchen to see what daddy is cooking for dinner after my Barney movie is over, but he's not in there this time. I saw a note on the counter that said, Mummy and Uncle James were going somewhere together. I'm not sure I, I'm not sure I didn't read that good. I go find Daddy in the garage. I shut the door behind me like I'm supposed to. Daddy is in the car and he has already turned the car on. He must not be eating dinner tonight, only ice cream. I get in the back seat behind Daddy since I'm not the big boy as yet. Daddy doesn't say anything when I said hello to him. Maybe he can't hear me over the loud car. I think I'll take a nap on the way to ice cream. I feel kind of sleepy. Hmm. <laughs> Wait. Daddy committed. Daddy find out mommy for then. With Uncle Jim. When did the car turn on the exhaust and small man going to sit on the <laughs> car with daddy and the gas techie quaffin? Go and feel the ice cream because I'm not a big boy as yet, you know? See, sit on in the van, daddy, and answer you. When you call, but daddy's a dog, he didn't even call a babysitter or something to come and watch the child. No, but you can unlock the door to the garage or something. Like, you just leave it, daddy. Yeah, but daddy real love mommy boy that you just got so bebes play. Because she's got every Saturday night eh? to horn with Uncle James. Yeah, but if she was an amazing woman all the time, if they didn't find <laughs> If it didn't find out about the horn, you see why it's should mind your business. If it didn't find out about the horn, your life would be happy you're going and find out too much now. Kill and you curiosity and your son. kill the cat and the kitten. But she go go mad now after she come home and see she husband and she son in the car. With the note. Going for ice cream. When they went, they going for ice cream. Oh, oh God. Wow, that's my favorite. Oh, that was no, no. Her. I don't want to no, say that because the that's one morbid and sad. Boy, I'm studying the little boy. The one who gets bounced down. I like the, the, um, the hit and run one. That one, that one. Yeah. But the ice cream and the calling daddy. Oh boy, that loves you, daddy. Go you in see? the kitchen to see and daddy And bloody naked. mommy who wanted it. Mommy was home. She just see the son mm -hmm. before he go in the, the garage. She Oh my God, you think daddy was so wicked, he planned the whole thing for her to come and see the two of them dead? Because he chose one. ice cream night. Brie, daddy's a dog. No, no, but and he, you know, as an adult, you already know somebody in the garage, the car running. Hey, come on. Sit. And you just smell this happy. thing. Daddy, why are you smelling, smelling, smelling so weird? You're nothing, you're so innocent for the happy ice. To and he's a good boy, you went in the back. He's a good boy. 
Yeah, yeah but daddy still a dog because he killed himself before then I ain't him feed the boy. Because the boy said daddy didn't want daddy dinner, he fair, just wanted no. ice cream. The boy hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry hungry. for laughing, it's, it's a oh, sad and emotional time, but... But the guys, boy dead hungry and no ice cream. Sorry. You'll have to tell us which story you all find was Which the one best. You, vo you voted? You voted. I voted the hit and run. I voted the ice cream, the little boy. Yeah, that sorry. was sweet though. Oh. But thanks for joining on the, <clears throat> oh, the Blanket series. And do horn. <laughs> Well, yes, these are lessons to learn. Yeah, the moral Tell of the this truth. story. Don't just hit and run, speed off. You hey. never know. Hmm. You have to also keep in consideration somebody family going to lose somebody too. In there in a rush, you know, be careful. You'll protect you and them. Drive with a bag in your car if you have a hot to do. Always have toilet paper. So any emergency, do speed. Do speed. So love you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Bye. Please like. Comment and subscribe. and subscribe. Victoria Vulture. Photo, photo. Brianna Effect. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>